Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for popping in. I hope you're keeping well. Yeah, things are going okay here, thank you. Lovely to spend some time with you. Now today, I thought we'd have a bit of a play at creating a background like this. And I've got to be honest, I just think this is fabulous. Look at the detail. And I know you're going to ask me, what am I going to stamp on there? Well, I don't know yet. I just have had such fun creating backgrounds like this. And I thought I'd show you how I did it. But also, I want to introduce you to our wonderful new product we've got to play with. So I'm just going to pop these to the side. And we now sell on our website, if you look, these fabulous mop-up brushes. Now we've got three sizes, look. One, two and three. And obviously, so it just to put my hand there, gives you an idea of the size of these lovely mop-up heads on them. Oh, gorgeous, so soft. Now, these mop-up brushes are fabulous for large areas, especially if you're doing something like watercolour. You know when we put a wash, that, that first watery wash that we put? So they're fabulous for that. But also you can use them for oils, for acrylics, lots of different types of paint. And today I'm going to be using them with my brush oil powders. But I've had so much fun playing with them. But as you can see, you're just after they are so soft. And the sizes are fabulous for me. The smaller one, the size one, is the one that fits in my little pixie pots. So I'm going to be using that one today. But the larger one, oh, I just did a watercolour with my um, elements, inks and water on the background. Brilliant. The larger one was fabulous for that. So again, mm, choices, you see. So they're available on our website now. Now to make our background, I'm going to start with the watercolour card. And I've got a piece here, and this is about a five and a half square. And I've already got my Dinkles, my Dinkles powders. And today I'm going to be using sea blue. You won't be surprised with these. Yellow, burnt orange, or orange as we call it, and chilli jam. And I've already popped these in my little pixie pots, look. Added some water. And all I'm going to do is, like I say, watercolour card. We have a secret ingredient for this as well. And I'm, I'm just going to spritz my card first. Oh, look, we've got a spray bit. I wonder where that bit of powder came from. And I'm going to start just with my lightest colour, because for me, I like to do that. So this is the yellow. And again, it tells me on the side, look. And I'm just going to dab some yellow. And again, where's my, my magic tool? So, again, me being me, I've been to my local place where I get a nice brew and I've got one of their stirrers because we obviously want to keep our hands clean, don't we? So I'm going to clean my little brush. I love it, mop-up brush. I wonder if it's good for mopping up other things. And I'm just going to add a little bit of orange. And it's the burnt orange, so it's got sort of brown tones to it. Then clean my brush. Again, I want to clean my brush in between. And I'm going to come in with some red. And just randomly deciding where I put the red. Now, if I want to move it around, I've got my air blower. And again, you, you'll remember this from, we use it with alcohol inks, but it's fabulous for Dinkles look. So I can decide if I want to move. And again, it's great for me. You know me. I don't want to get my hands messy. And then I'm just going to, and I am wiping my brush slightly on my um, Inky Binky, just so I'm not adding too much water into my dinkles because I like the consistency I've got. So I'm going to come in with a bit of blue just in various areas and we'll just see what happens. And again, I'm using the brush just to get it on and then I'm going to move it round a bit. But if I wanted to come in and use my larger brush and put it across as a wash, I can. If there's areas I want to just cover more. Again, and I'm just having fun creating a type of background. Now, the beauty of this is I fancy a little bit more red. So I'm just going to add a couple of dots of red, the chilli jam, just to see what sort of, and I like that effect. Right, now I've got plenty on there. In fact, I'm just going to add, she says, as she goes back in, a little bit more there. Right. Now, time for secret weapon. So our secret weapon, cling film. 
Now, this is probably an old technique to some of you. Those of you who haven't done it, it's brilliant. Wacky cling film on and just move it round. So you need to have plenty of water. As I say, the mop-up mop brushes are great for adding that water. And I'm just going to move it till you're happy with it. And then pat it and leave it to dry. I always give it a good pat because obviously the cling film, you want it in contact with your card. Leave it to dry. And then when it's dry, peel the cling film off and this is what you get. So all these lovely areas are where your cling film has dried, look. And for me, I tend to make a few of these in one go. Batch make them. So then I've always got a background ready. I mean, some of them I don't even want to stamp up. I'm thinking, what can I, I just add a sentiment on that. Now, another little, if you do the same, use your mop brush, little technique, Pop it on your um on your watercolour card and then add some sea salt. When that dries and you brush that off, you get this. It's a completely different effect. But look at this. I love this look. So just a couple of things that you've got in your kitchen cupboard. I told you we'd get cooking involved, didn't I? A bit of a recipe. So sea salt, cling film. Fabulous backgrounds. And the beauty of it is with the dinkles, we still get this colour look. The, I mean, how fabulous is that colour? So vibrant. And this was using the same four colours. So that's the yellow, the burnt orange, the chilli jam and that sea blue and our mop brush. So I hope you're going to have fun creating backgrounds. I'd love to see what you create. So I'm going to go away now and stamp this one up. I just wanted to pop back and show you what I've created with the background. So the background that we just made, I've had great fun and created this design. And all I've done is I've stamped and I'm going to show you the stamps I've used. I've used this beautiful Seeing is Believing, fabulous fairy, look at her. And because she's on this lovely dandelion look, Sorry, I think there's a bit of reflection there. I thought I'd team it up with the original dandelion set. And I've stamped those in black. The Versifying Claire Nocturne. And then, and she was my focal point. And then once I'd done that, I wanted to introduce a few other flowers. So I simply stamped some of the wild summer flowers in the Versifying Claire Summertime. And I must admit, I was just playing. I didn't record it because I didn't know where it was going to go. So I really just had fun playing. Then I brought in the field grass, as you know. Favourite stamp, got to be used. And for that, I used the Paradise, just to bring in some of those blue tones that we had from the Dinkles. And so I stamped that down here. And then I brought in one of our circle masks and to tie in those tones, I used the blue at all. And I went for the elements just for me because I find it easier to blend, especially with doing something like that. Now, all this on top of the watercolour card and the dinkles, I was so surprised how easily it all stamped. And then a couple of finishing touches, some white pastel pencil, some Posca, some splats obviously had to happen and me being me, I had to mat in layer first and then add my splats over everything. A little bit of white Posca and some gel pen. And that was it. Like I say, I didn't record it. I do apologise, but I really didn't know where it was going and I just had such great fun. But just to show you, so I'm hoping... Chris, my clever friend Chris at Lavinia, is going to be able to tag this video on to the end of my first one so that you can see how the background can be then used to create a finished piece. So hopefully we've got a, a completed project. I must admit I've really enjoyed doing this. My second little background is busy drying so once that's dry I can't wait to have a play with that as well. 
But as I say, just thought little bonus, I'd just show you what can be created. So when you've got your backgrounds, please make sure you stamp them up and just have fun. And look, you can still see all this lovely magical detail. Anyway, thanks a lot for popping in again. Take care. I'll see you again next week. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.